Hello and welcome to the 5 Minute Film Club. And this week it's all about surprises and misdirection in the 1972 film Sleuth, starring Michael Caine and Sir Laurence Olivier. In the middle of the countryside lies a huge mansion house owned by successful crime writer Andrew Wyke. He has invited a young man from London, a hairdresser, Milo Tyndall, to discuss the fact that he would like to marry Andrew's wife. Over the course of the film's running time, we as an audience are spectators to their sick and inventive games of one-upmanship. This being a two-hander, the film rests on the performances given by Michael Caine and Laurence Olivier. Not only is this what I think of one of Sir Laurence Olivier's most interesting film roles, having the presence of him there versus Michael Caine, it really does make Michael Caine stand up and uh, try and knock a few punches out of the great actor himself. Michael Caine delivers a very nuanced performance. Like the play it's based on, the screenplay is by Anthony Schaefer, who delivers a script full of fun dialogue that comes thick and fast, especially from the mouth of Sir Lawrence. If I choose to say that my wife converses like a child of six and makes love like an extinct shellfish, I shall. And I don't need to ask her lover's permission to do so either. The plot that Schaefer weaves is a thriller uh, that I found so interesting and inventive that I'm not going to spoil one moment of it. What is great about this film is that having adapted it from a, a stage play, sometimes they come across a bit wooden and, you know, unexpansive. You, you, you can imagine sitting in a theatre and watching it and it doesn't translate well onto a cinema. But one of the big mistakes that many people do when attempting to take a play and then replicate that on the screen is that they go mad with it. They uh, throw in everything they can to kind of prove to the audience, oh look, it's a film, it's actually a film, it was a very successful play, now it's a film, and oh look, look what we can do with film. Joseph L. Mankiewicz, who did All About Eve, uh, does it great justice. Um, he keeps the action moving around the expansive country home. At one instant we're in the snooker room, and then we're scaling the staircase, and then we delve down into the murky game-filled basement. With my modern-day audience hat on, I can see that perhaps people would see this film as a bit stagey, a bit slow, and they also may even find the whole idea and premise of the film rather trivial. And also there are elements, technically, that uh, just feel a little bit outdated now. There is one particular piece of prosthetics that um, I think now lets you into the trick and the joke far earlier than perhaps audiences in 1972 were meant to. Also one similarity that I got from the film watching it this time around, I have watched it several times before, is its similarity to the John Fowles book The Magus, the story of a Oxford graduate disappearing off to a Greek island and then suddenly becoming embroiled in a local wealthy recluse's ever-increasingly sadistic games um, certainly rings some bells. In fact, The Magus was made into a film in 1968 and, funnily enough, had Michael Caine in it, although I don't think many people actually went to see it. But this year, The Magus is actually coming to Blu-ray. I, I really think that Sleuth is a better interpretation of this kind of story and far more befitting a, a complete remaster. I mean, to find this film now, you have to sift through several different kinds of DVDs to actually get to it. And then the quality of the image is shocking. But anyway, remaster or not remaster, Sleuth I find an incredibly interesting watch. And as I say, I have watched it many times before. They did a 2007 remake with Jude Law and Michael Caine. Michael Caine then taking on the older role, and it was uh, directed by Kenneth Branagh and had a completely new script written by Harold Pinter shortly before he died. And that film, for me, lacked any of the fun and the sophistication that the 1972 original has. If you're interested in uh, Sir Laurence Olivier and want to see some of his later works outside of Shakespeare, then this is definitely a film to watch, because it is a lot of fun watching Olivier and Caine just battle it out. A creeping, hairdressing seducer of silly women. A jumped-up pantry boy who doesn't know his place! Did you really believe I'd give up my wife and jewellery to you? So there we go. There's my review of Sleuth. Anyway, on to next week's film. Next week, 
I will be watching from 1967, Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs>